Hey everyone, we've got some exciting news from the camera world. Sony has just registered a new camera with a wireless certification agency, and you know what that means. Something big is on the horizon. The model code of this newly registered device is WW2772226, and all signs point toward one highly anticipated release, the Sony Alpha 7 V. Now, if you've been following Sony's camera lineup, you know that the Alpha 7 series is a powerhouse when it comes to mirrorless cameras. So, let's dive into what this means, what we can expect, and whether we might see the Sony Alpha 7 V sooner rather than later. What does it actually mean when a company like Sony registers a camera with a wireless certification agency? Well, manufacturers like Sony, Canon and Nikon usually have to get their products certified for wireless connectivity before they hit the market. This is a standard process and it usually gives us a sneak peek at upcoming models before any official announcements are made. Looking at past trends, once a camera appears in wireless certification listings, it typically takes about two to three months before it's officially revealed. This is why so many of us are now expecting the Sony Alpha 7 V to be announced in early 2025, possibly as soon as March. This registration comes at a time when rumors about the Sony Alpha 7 V have been gaining traction. The Sony rumor mill has been buzzing for a while now, with several reports suggesting that the Alpha 7 V could be the next big release in Sony's full-frame mirrorless lineup. Historically, Sony has maintained a pretty consistent release cycle for the Alpha 7 series. The Alpha 7 IV was announced in late 2021, and given that we are now in 2025, an update seems likely. If this registered camera is indeed the Alpha 7 V, then we could be looking at a March 20th to 25th announcement, followed by an official launch shortly thereafter. Of course, at this stage, Sony hasn't confirmed anything officially, so we're still in the speculation phase. But based on past trends, industry leaks, and the natural progression of camera technology, we have a few ideas about what the Alpha 7 V could bring to the table. One of the biggest expectations is an improved sensor. The Alpha 7 IV introduced a 33 megapixel sensor, which was a notable step up from the Alpha 7 III's 24 megapixel. Could the Alpha 7 V push this even further? Some rumors suggest we might see a 40 megapixel plus sensor, potentially bringing it closer to Sony's high resolution Alpha 7R lineup while maintaining the versatility that the Alpha 7 series is known for. Autofocus improvements are also highly likely. Sony's autofocus technology has always been industry leading and with advancements in AI-driven subject detection, we could see even faster and more accurate focusing capabilities. This would be a huge advantage for photographers and videographers alike. Now let's talk about video capabilities, because this is one of the biggest questions on everyone's mind. The Alpha 7 IV already offered impressive 4K video recording with 10-bit color depth, making it a favorite among hybrid shooters. But with the competition pushing 8K recording in more consumer-friendly cameras, could the Alpha 7 V take that leap? While some believe 8K might be reserved for Sony's flagship Alpha 1 series, there's a possibility that the Alpha 7 V could at least introduce some form of 8K capture, even if it's limited to short bursts or crop modes. But with 8K comes a few challenges, heat management, file sizes, and processing power. If Sony finds a way to balance these issues, 8K could be a major selling point, but if not, we're at least expecting improved 4K recording with higher frame rates and better thermal efficiency for long recording sessions. Now you may wonder about the design and ergonomics of this camera, because a camera's usability is just as important as its specs. Sony has been refining its camera bodies with each generation, making them more comfortable to hold and use for extended periods. The Alpha 7 IV introduced a deeper grip and improved button layout, so it wouldn't be surprising to see further refinements with the Alpha 7 V. 
A fully articulating LCD screen with better resolution seems like a natural upgrade, especially for content creators who rely on vlogging or self-recording. An improved electronic viewfinder with a higher refresh rate could also make a big difference for professionals who prefer composing shots through the electronic viewfinder rather than the LCD. On the flip side, some users have been hoping for a more compact body, and if Sony prioritizes ergonomics over portability, it may not be the most travel-friendly option. Battery life is another key factor, especially for videographers. The current NPFZ100 battery is solid, but any improvements in power efficiency would be a welcome addition. Sony has been pushing firmware updates for power management, but whether the Alpha 7 V introduces new battery tech or sticks with what works is yet to be seen. Whenever a new camera is on the horizon, we also have to think about lenses. Alongside the Alpha 7 V rumors, there's been buzz about a new Sony 50 to 105 mm f2.8 lens coming soon. This could be an exciting addition, offering a versatile zoom range with a fast aperture for portraits, events, and even some wildlife photography. On one hand, Sony's commitment to expanding its lens lineup is great for professionals who need variety, but on the other, it means existing Alpha 7 users might have to invest in new glass to take full advantage of the new camera's capabilities. Some photographers prefer sticking with their existing lenses rather than upgrading both body and optics. We think that if the Alpha 7 V brings a new sensor with better resolution and improved autofocus, it may be worth investing in updated glass. So, when will we actually hear something official? Based on previous patterns, we can make some guesses. Since this camera registration surfaced on December 2024, and Sony typically announces products two to three months after certification, a March 2025 launch is highly likely. Of course, delays happen, and Sony could always push back the timeline, but for now, early 20 to 25 seems like a reasonable expectation. If we look at Sony's past launch events, they usually come with a teaser campaign leading up to the big reveal. That means by soon, we might start seeing more leaks, spec confirmations, or even an official teaser from Sony. If you're holding off on purchasing a new camera, it might be worth waiting just a little longer to see what Sony has in store. This is the big question. Should you wait for the Alpha 7 V or should you just get the Alpha 7 IV now? The answer really depends on what you need. The Alpha 7 IV is still an excellent camera with a fantastic balance of photo and video features. If you need a reliable full-frame mirrorless camera right now, there's no reason to hesitate. But if you're someone who always wants the latest and greatest, waiting a few months might be the smarter move. If the Alpha 7 V brings significant upgrades in resolution, video features, or autofocus performance, it could be worth the wait. On the downside, new tech often comes with a higher price tag, so if budget is a concern, the Alpha 7 IV might be the better value. At this point, we don't have an official confirmation from Sony but all signs strongly suggest that the Alpha 7 V is going to be the next major release in their mirrorless camera lineup. The appearance of the camera in wireless certification listings is a reliable indicator that we are getting close to an announcement, most likely in the early 20 to 25. If history is any guide, we might start seeing more leaks and official teasers in the coming months. For photographers and videographers alike, this could be one of the most exciting releases of the year. Sony has a track record of delivering industry-leading technology, and if the Alpha 7 V builds on the success of its predecessors, it could be a game-changer. Of course, we have to consider potential drawbacks like price increases or features that might not live up to the hype. While we don't have an official confirmation just yet, all signs point to the Sony Alpha 7 V being the next big release in Sony's mirrorless camera lineup. The wireless certification listing suggests we're getting close to an announcement, likely in early 2025. So, that's all about the Sony Alpha 7 V. Do let us know what you think about this rumored camera. As for everything else, 
Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.